the Seamaster 2017 ITTF World Tour Platinum. Lion Japan Open. Players just gone through formalities. So we have the number one seeds, Hanoka Hashimoto and Hitomi Sato from Japan. Again, third Japanese representation in three matches first thing this morning. Perfect for the crowd here in Tokyo. Taking on qualifiers from China, Chen Xingtong and Sun Yingsha. There we are through the proceedings of this morning. Halfway through, we're running a little bit behind schedule here, but we don't mind. It's due to the quality of the table tennis, and in particular that 4-3 victory earlier on for Mio Harano. Delighted the local crowd were to see Mio Harano go through to the quarterfinals. And there you see we are now on for women's doubles semi-final, as I say, number one seeds against the qualifiers, Japan against China. The other semi-final, just so that you know, is between Chen Zhu Yu and Cheng Yi Cheng of Chinese Taipei, the number four seeds, against the number two seeds from the Republic of Korea, Jung Ji Hee, who we saw earlier playing against Mi Hirano in the last 16 of the women's singles. She's playing with Yang Hayun. So four different nations contending the semi-finals of the women's doubles. And there are our pairings. So in red, pairing from China. And in green and black, the pairing from Japan. Quarterfinals saw the number one seeds have a slightly easier time. Onaka Hoshimoto and Hitomi Sato defeating Chinese Taipei pairing Cheng Xiangzu and Lin Xiaxi 3-0. And Chen Xintong and Sun Yinxia of China, they won 3-1 against another Chinese pairing, Chen Ke and Wang Manyu. They were also responsible for the defeat of Feng Chenwei and Yu Ming Yu of Singapore in the last 16, 3 0. So they've come through the qualifiers there. Chen and Sun deserve to be in this semi final for sure. But there they are, the number one seeds. They've been to ladder stages and winning also there in Austria 2016. Strong combination. Really interesting to see how these two fare. Next generation, younger players. There we see no world ranking and no seedings who come through the qualifiers. Young in their international career, but how many times have we seen really strong players coming through on the Chinese scene? Over the years, equally from Japan. Two powerhouses of table tennis. So two right-handed combinations. Umpire Peter there from Czech Republic. And Andreas, assistant umpire from Germany. Of course, international umpires traveling around on the world circuit. This is the second platinum event here in Japan of the year. We've already been to Qatar earlier in the year in February. We're in China next week in Chengdu, Sichuan province. Spicy food there. Before heading off to Australia in July, Austria in September and Germany in November. Of course, players aiming to accumulate points. Winning prize money, of course, along the way. Hashimoto Biggest prize Sato money we've had in the World Tour, Chen courtesy Sun. of Seamasters partnership. Is to serve. But pairings and singles players trying to accumulate as many points through the World Tour for the World Tour Grand Finals, which will take place in December. Location of that to be confirmed. Oh, super exchange to open this semi-final. Going to see lots of footwork, two right-handed combinations, so really important to move with your opponent. 
understanding of one another and regular playing with each other, key factors in success of a doubles partnership. Also styles of play, important too. Sometimes in doubles competitions we see different combinations of players playing with one another, which can impact on world ranking points and seedings and so on. One, two. And then we also see the opposite side of that, where consistently we see the same pairing playing again and again. Certainly, Hashimoto and Sato played regularly together. They'll have a strong understanding, but what a backhand Three, flick that is. One. Straight over the table. Beautifully played, so relaxed, almost like training hall. Four, Wonderful one. attack from Sun Yingxia. Good impact on two points there. Almost playing as if it's a opening round rather than semi-final. Very impressive. One, five. footwork there, good camera angle there, just to see the footwork of Hashimoto and Sato. Of course, footwork Four. crucial in defensive style players, and particularly in a doubles, when you're both playing defensively. Important though that they mix it up. Chinese players traditionally very, very strong against defense. That was right to go Four, for a forehand to serve. Six. Was drifting. And that would have been a good opportunity to mix it up. Uh -huh. Four, First error. Seven. Apology. Clever from the Eight, Chinese pairing. Four. Dictating the tempo and the spin and the speed. And there's the variation of push and then coming in with an acceleration one to one side, one to the other. Clever. Four point advantage for the pairing in red. And now with the serve. Good variation, Eight, coming in on the backhand five. there, Sato. No, no. Ah, nice Six, as well, over the table. Eight. Turning defense into attack.
Again, eight. It's the pointer topspin that's causing the Chinese pairing the problems. Comfortable against the defense. Then the counter, fantastic from Honoko Hashimoto. Bit of a risk in there, but it needs to be done to mix it up. Pulling it back now, serving at 7 8. Oh, it's a long, bouncy one. Eight. Eight. And Chen Sing Tong not completely comfortable. Whether it kicked up a little bit, seemed to check. Turn to the right hand side. Excellent service. Get all. Good comeback from the Japanese pairing. Number one seeds. And a mistake from the Chinese pairing, but perhaps not to be. Unexpected at such a crucial point. They were free-flowing when they were in the lead. Looked very comfortable against defense. Now it comes close. Different ball game. One point advantage. Team Japan. On the receive though. Oh, it's a great attack right down the middle of the table. Perfect combinations from the players in green there from Japan. Once again, chiseling the ball on defense, heavy spin, forcing the attackers to spin slowly, then having the option to come in and counter attack. So two point advantage with the serve, two game points. Best of five, of course, the doubles. First of three. Oh, it's a good rally. Ten, nine. Well worked from the Chinese pairing. And then Sun once again. Beautiful forehand, good technique. Oh. Another great Ten. forehand Ten. from Sun Yingsha. Bit bouncy that serve, just see it in the slow mode. Little bit bouncy, easier to accelerate. Not the time to play a bouncy serve. Ten all. Anybody's first game. Yeah! Oh, it was a massive float 11, push. Ten. From Honoko Hashimoto. Launched off the end by Chen Xin Tong. Misread the spin, thought it was heavier. Played the technique to lift the spin. Wasn't any spin in it. Once again, advantage. Hashimoto and Sato, 11-10. Third game point. Ah! And take it. Beautiful forehand love. attack. Ten. Good surprise game tactic. to Hashimoto Sato. One love. And the Japanese pairing to the delight of the crowd here. Run back to their coach. They've taken the first game. Twelve points to ten. So on par calls time. Good finish to that first game there from Sato and Hashimoto. Good variation of attack around the defense. I think if they stay too much in defense mode, Chen and Sun. Second think game. Be strong, we find the rhythm, comfortable against Marvel. defense, but it's the key shift into attack from the pairing on the screen. Crucial in that opening game. Uh -huh. One, 
five. Interesting error. That serve again looked a little bit bouncy from here, but it's been very deceptive to see. That one was backspin, clearly put into the net. Looked a little like topspin. High toss, generating a lot of speed with the ball coming back down onto one, the racket. One. Sometimes doubles pairings prefer to just throw the ball with a slow and a smaller toss just to keep the control with the higher toss perhaps creating more risk more elements of error but not so far for the japanese pairing counter touch with a long with defensive shots this is great stuff oh missed the attack on the parallel one from hashimoto Super changed through that rally from attack and defense. Everything being played. It was teed up beautifully there. One. Lovely ball there three. down the line from Sun Ying Sha. I think if you're playing against the defense, you've got to mix it up. You can't let the defensive pairing again. Just be comfortable with where you're placing the ball. You've got to mix it up into their backhand, into their forehands. Fast, slow spinny, mix it up, make it difficult. One, four. Fortune there. Five, Can one. Often happen against defense. The backspin's taking the ball down onto the net. And again, Chen and Sun looking comfortable in this second game with 5 1. Didn't pan out in the first game though. Again, very, very solid One. against the defence. Hashimoto and Sato need to keep changing it up, keep turning defence into attack. Because if it's all defence, then it's very One. comfortable. Seven. Wonderful forehand there from Ying Sha. Tremendous technique over the table, good timing. Comfortable lead game two here for the pairing from China, 7-1. No. Unlucky. Trying to take the initiative and attacking is the right thing to do. Break up the rhythm of Chen and Sun. Have to be accurate though. Spin would have been better on that occasion rather than the hit. Ah, fantastic forehands. The acceleration of the forehands always impressive from Team China. Technique wise and the power. Also the wrist, really good through this arm speed coming through, technique body transfers through the ball. Always, always good. Oh, super rally. Japanese Two, pairing working really ten. hard, retrieving from left and right. Looked like they might have played themselves back into that rally there just at that moment. That's the way to win the point from Sun Ying Sha again. Eight game points to level at 1 1. Beautiful from Two, Chen 11, Xing Tong. Clear winner, seven, very clear Chen, result in that second game. 11 2 for the pairing from China who came through the qualifiers. Level it at 1 1 against the number one seeds, Hashimoto and Sato.
去以后。其中一个人啪一撇就回来了，撇回来一撇，太帅了，太帅了。So the vital element to this match for me is the ability of Honoka Hashimoto and Hitomi Sato from Japan to mix up the play from defense into attack. If they stay in defensive mode, I think Chen and Sun will be too Third powerful, game. too Chen capable. To However, if they can mix it up, get some attacks going themselves, then I think they're in a stronger position. Good start. Attack the serve. One. Conceding no ground, staying over the table, attacking on all levels. Good camera angle there. You can see the body, this power coming through the legs. Good turning at the waist, accelerating through on the arm speed. No, no. One, two, one. unlucky it was there she apologizes Sato for missing but it was definitely there maybe more topspin rather than hit maybe feeling under pressure that have to push that little bit further a little bit harder to try to secure crucial points not always the case in reality what you think you need to do and what you should do sometimes differs but in the heat of battle the semi-final of a World Tour Platinum. You can sometimes get caught out, make the wrong decisions, of course. Square one game apiece and three points all. doubles final will be played at 7 o'clock 7 p.m. local time here in Tokyo later on this evening so the winning pair I'm sure will have some lunch relax recuperate through the afternoon and then build up to that final preparation again once again in the practice hall oh what a rally oh what a winner cross court Five, three. Both teams working very hard. Good footwork from both. That was just a little bit sat up from Sato. Easy then for Sun to accelerate on, but she did so very well. Great winner cross court to create that two point cushion again at 5 3. So, yes, yeah, 7 p.m. Women's doubles final. 
And after that, we conclude this evening. Day three. five, main draw day three with the men's doubles final. And by the end of the day, we'll be down to just two events left, two titles to confirm, the winners for both the men's and women's singles. Which will take us through into tomorrow. Ah, yeah. oh, wonderful, good counter topspin. Six. Always beautiful to see defenders being able to counter topspin with ease. Look at that technique, beautiful timing. Actually brushed around the side of the ball, kicked wide. Now back in the defensive mode. Float this time, Five, forces the error six. from Chen Xing Tong. Must be able to mix the spins. Lots of spin, back spin on the defensive chops or no spin. Chen Ching Tung not seeing that last one. Oh, she's missed one there too. That's a bad miss. Confidence will be a little bit shattered. Having missed those two, this is a bad one though. So the battling pair there of Sato and Hashimoto level it back at six all. Good sequence, good couple of minutes for the number one seeds. Oh, oh, this time it's Sun Ying Sha to make an error. And maybe experience showing a little bit here. Look comfortable at times preparing from China. I mean, a little bit of an experience, a little bit of nerves coming into play. Go. Go. Had to attack that one. Okay. Well, it's a little bit of luck came their way with the net. They had to attack that one. Would have been criminal to have pushed that one. It was up high, it was over the table. Had to come across it, Sato, to strike it. But strike it, she did. 8-6 lead now. Two points advantage. Big high toss again from Hashimoto. Eight, that was seven. a bit reckless. Too excited, maybe. Mm -hmm. Disappointed. Refocused, 8-7. Eight. Both Eight. players guilty of going for too much. Both apologetic. A spin ball would have been enough. No need sometimes to go all out for a complete winner. So once again, all even. No mistake this time. Nine. From Chen. Eight. Sing Tung. Solid on the forehand attack over the table. Nicely placed down the backhand. Look as if she might have poked that one cross court. Nicely played though. One point advantage, one more serve. Ah, nicely done. Eight. That's where they're Ten. comfortable, the two from China. When they're moving well, albeit the defensive chops were coming into the middle of the table, so arguably a little bit more straightforward for the pairing from China, but that's where they're comfortable, dictating the pace and spin and speed and placement. Sometimes spinning, sometimes accelerating hard like that. That last one from Sun Ying Sha. Nine, that one. Good defence though, that one was more Chen. wide out the forehand of Chen Ching Tung. Forced the error and looks like it's a timeout for Team China. 
coach perhaps just spotting a moment of lapse with that forehand miss and the focus of course on Chen Xing Tong perhaps for that reason just relax just take your time play the full shot there we see it again just error but look at the placement from the defending chop they're wide out the forehand this time from Hashimoto different from the previous ones down the middle of the table where we've seen the two Chinese players be a little bit more comfortable there's an example there something to take forward for the Japanese pairing move the ball around a little bit more as well as mixing up the defense and attack change up the position don't always chop to the middle of the table give your opponents something more to think about so position of the chops the defensive shots and mix it up forehand uh, attack and defense as for the team from china keep Nine, moving ten. keep looking to attack Keep mixing up spins and accelerations, but make sure you choose the right ball to accelerate on and keep the footwork moving, especially for those wide ones on the forehand. Both pairings doing exactly the right things. Chinese pairings mixing up the spins and the speeds and moving around nicely, not making any mistakes. Chinese pairing mixing the defense and attack. Look at that for a retrieve wide out the forehand from Hashimoto. And what about the finish from Hitomi Sato? Super backhand. Look at that on the run. Excellent action shot there. Delighted clearly. Brings it back to 10 all. Anybody's game for a 2 1 lead. Will it be the number one seeds from Japan or will it be the qualifiers from China? Another miss from Chen Sintong. I hope she doesn't get too hard on herself. Sometimes when players make multiple mistakes, they start to be a little bit hard on themselves. Sometimes it depends on the relationship also with your partner. Partners can also add a little bit of pressure. But hopefully they're understanding. Hopefully she gets on all right, but she makes another error. It's a long, fast serve this time that secures it. Hanoko Hashimoto, Itomi Sato, delighted, skipping back to their coach. They've survived that one. They've won both of the juice games in the semi-final of the women's doubles. 12-10 in the third, just like the first. And they take a 2-1 lead. having to call time a couple of times the atmosphere in here is uh, getting noisier crowd energetic clearly happy with 2-1 lead here in the women's doubles semi-final umpires having to adjust call the players back again a couple of times but they are back now 2-1 then for the pairing from japan number the one seeds game, Anoka, Hashimoto Hashimoto and Sato. there they are Great response again from the crowd. In for a full weekend's day, Saturday entertainment. They'll be hoping to see as many Japanese players into tomorrow for the singles. But as for today, conclusion of the doubles. And hopefully more titles to the host nation here. Great combination there. Into the attacking mode straight away in game four. Is that a sign of things to come in the remainder of this semi-final? Strong start. 
Must be feeling good. Number one seeds. Starting to get the momentum. What a backhand topspin that is from Hitomi Sato. That's the sort of mixing up that they want to be doing. Not always chopping, defending, and giving the Chinese pairing plenty of time. But mixing it up. That was a great backhand. Oh, acceleration One, from some Shah is just so impressive. And Chen Xing Tong, fair play. She looks comfortable. Okay, she may have made a couple of errors. We all do in doubles. And when you are the one that's perhaps made the errors, sometimes you can be hard on yourself and not bounce back in a match. But she's done well. She looks composed. Three. That was an excellent one. chop. Very, very much full of spin. See it again here. That was loaded with spin. Sun Yingsha had to put a lot of effort in it. She went for the fast one. Maybe the wrong choice. She went for it anyway. Committed to it. That was the important thing. Three, two. Information coming through that the number two seeds have made it through in the other women's double semi final. Jung Ji Hee and Yang Ha Yun from the Republic of Korea, 3 1 victors over Chen Tzu Yu and Cheng Yi Ching of Chinese Taipei. So the Koreans through to tonight's final. Four, Who will be joining three. them? Who will go up against the number two seeds? Will it be the number one seeds there in screen from Japan or will it be those two on the far side? Chen Xintong and Sun Yingshan from China. Ah! Three, five. Fair play to the young Chinese pairing. Showing some resilience. Up against it at the start of this fourth. They bounce back. You just see the pimples there on the red rubber of Hashimoto. Does have the technique to accelerate on those balls, Sun Yisha. But perhaps just inexperienced, choosing the wrong ones. Could have built that rally a little bit longer. Chose to go for quite a difficult one. Quite a lot of spin on it. <laughs> now the motivation comes five, through. Five. Clench fist. Sato. Maybe just forcing it a little bit. Service sequence back, trailing two points. Ah, oh, beautifully played this time Five. over the table, dominant, Eight. relaxed also. Sun Yingsha again, the one to inflict. 
final element of damage. Beautiful inside out, just swinging across down the line. Look at that technique, still coming through the ball, over the table. Eight five, we could be going to a fifth and deciding game. Off the net control from Chen Xing Tong. Oh, fantastic Nine, stuff. Five. From the pairing from China. Chen Xing Tong managed to get that one back off the net somehow, got themselves back into position, secured four points lead in this fourth game. 9 5 with the serve now, too. Looking good to bring it to two all. The decider. Point a little bit again is an experience. First two or three top spins, very controlled, look nice. There's the second one, and then just perhaps a little bit too anxious. That comes with experience. Superb rally and angles, defence and attack. Crowder loving it. Hashimoto and Seto, they're fighting back. There's the counter topspin, fantastic from Hashimoto. Good retrieval from Seto, that was an angle out the backhand too. Did well, good movement. This is a test for the young Chinese pairing now. Under pressure against the serve. If they serve long here, Hashimoto will they attack? She does so. Seven, ten. Not just so relaxed with that one. It's only Sato. Perhaps needed a more relaxed counter top spin. But seven, ten, three game points for the Chinese pairing to take it to two, two. We'll have a deciding fifth game. It could be the right choice of shot from Chen Xingtong. More spin than I thought in that one. Right. Sat with a screen as well for extra support in terms of being able to understand the spins and the angles. So serving this time. Second game point to come. Sun Xingtong with the serve. Oh, and secures 11, it. Good sequence. Eight, Not so rush, no Chen, errors. Son, Chen Xintong just two, shaking oh. her arm, perhaps suggesting she's a little bit stiff. Not easy to hold high level attack against defense, but they've managed to do it. They've won game four, 11 8. The pairing on screen right now. Confirmation will come up now that it's 2 2, and we'll have a fifth and final deciding game in this first women's doubles semi finals. So here we go, fifth and final game, women's double semi-final. Of course, the Korean pairing the already final through. Game. Chen to serve. To the Love final all. this evening, seven o'clock local time. Can the young pairing from China, the qualifiers go through against the number one seeds. They need to stay calm. They need to build the points. They can't rush and try and take the winners too early. For the number one seeds, well, plenty of mixing of defense and attack. Really important. One, and not to get too snatchy on the opportunities to capitalize on the attack. We saw a couple of errors in the previous game in such examples. 
let's see how it unfolds. Superb building of the point, superb patience, superb choice of attack. Spinning that one from Sun. And then Chen accelerating. Great start on the tactics, composure. And execution from Chen and Sun. Great movement around the table from both pairings. Both giving it their all. Good long dig into the backhand court. Oh, Three, <laughs> one. what a backhand flick that was! from Sun Ying Sha. That was incredible. I'm sure that ball fizzes down the line there. Wow, and that's the reaction I would have too. Wow, you can't do much about that. Incredible. Four, one. Looking comfortable now. Fair play to Shing. Xing Tong. Real composure. She struggled through second and particularly the third game. Made errors. Has held her composure. And there's another good ball from Chen as well. And at five points reached in the decider. It's time to change ends. Really good. Very impressive. I mean, Sun Ying Sha has been the one who's been accelerating most. Almost the flare player that we saw the backhand flick over the table a couple of points ago. Chen Xin Tong, though, has done exceptionally well to bounce back from a difficult period. Started this fifth game exceptionally well. What can the number one seeds from Japan do? How can the crowd help them here? Reach tonight's final. Ah! Ends the right choice Six. to counter attack from Sato, but just didn't execute. Perhaps a little bit hesitant. You have to commit. Whether you're playing a fast ball or a small ball, regardless, you have to commit to it. It was a better sequence Seven. from the Japanese pairing, but One. the Chinese pairing are just looking solid here. It's almost like they've shifted gear. Time out, Hashimoto, Sato. And quite rightfully, Hashimoto and Sato call time out, trailing 7-1. Maybe could have taken the time out earlier. Wanting now to put the brakes on, the progress of the Chinese pairing. It's been an impressive fifth game for them. Completely solid there, now on the backhand side as well. You can see lovely control again from Chen. She's clearly delighted. 7-1, exactly the place you'd want to be on a deciding game. Will the timeout have helped Sato and Hashimoto? done anything wrong particularly in this fifth game I think Chen and Sun have just lifted their level removed the errors Seven, one, Sun. they've got to go for it here though Hashimoto and Sato they've got to keep thinking about mixing the attack in with the defense very easy now to just sit back and into what you know and defend Eight, one. Backspin serve, takes us to 8-1. Eight, 8-1, one. Eight, one. Ah, solid again. One, nine. Very good top spinning, very good doubles play. They deserved this fifth game. They've been very strong, very focused. Ah. 
nine one. Stop! One ten. Incredible how this fifth has unfolded. Ten one nine match points in this semi final to go through to tonight's women's doubles final to take on the Koreans Jung Ji Hee and Yang Hyun. Right leg Two. just getting stuck there, not getting out of the way to provide the freedom to swing there on the counter top spin. Chen Xing Tong, but still very comfortable position. Coach won't be stressing too much, I wouldn't imagine. It's Chen now with the serve at 10 2. 11 2. Sato into the net. And match for Chen, Chen and Sun almost feels like Chen, an anti climax. Sun, the fifth game Chen, was so comfortable. Chen, Fantastic performance by them. Very, very solid. Their tactics came through. They didn't rush and choose the wrong ball to accelerate on. They look very, very good. Chen Shintong there on the left, very composed given the difficulty she had through the match. Sun Yingsha very composed. Unlucky to there, Hashimoto and Sato. Outclassed, I think, a little bit there on the fifth and deciding game. Confirmation there. It is Chen Shintong and Sun Yingsha who go through to tonight's final. They'll contest it against the Koreans, Jung Ji Hee and Yang Hyun. There we have it, 3-2, Team China. Fortune there. Five, Can one. often happen against defence. The backspin's taking the ball down onto the net. And again, Chen and Sun looking comfortable in this second game with 5 1. Didn't pan out in the first game though. Again, Six, very, very solid one. against the defence. Hashimoto and Sato need to keep changing it up, keep turning defence into attack. Because if it's all defence, then it's very one, comfortable. Seven. Wonderful forehand there from Ying Sha. Tremendous technique over the table, good timing. Comfortable lead game two here for the pairing from China, 7-1. No. Take the initiative and attacking is the right thing to do. Break up the rhythm of Chen and Sun. Have to be accurate though. Spin would have been better on that occasion rather than the hit. Ah, 
fantastic forehands. The acceleration of the forehands are always impressive from Team China, technique-wise, and the power. Also, the wrist. Really good through his arm speed coming through. Technique body transfers through the ball. Always, always good. Oh, super rally. Japanese pairing working really hard, retrieving from left and right. Looked like they might have played themselves back into that rally there just at that moment. But that's the way to win the point from Sun Yingxia again. Eight game points to level at 1-1. One, one. Beautiful from Two, Chen Xing Tong. Clear winner, percent. very clear Chen, result in that second game. 11-2 for the pairing from China who came through the qualifiers, level it at 1-1 against the number one seeds, Hashimoto and Sato. Time. So the vital element to this match for me is the play a bouncy serve. Ten all. Anybody's first game. Oh, it was a massive float Eleven, push. Ten. From Honoko Hashimoto. Launched off the end by Chen Xintong. Misread the spin, thought it was heavier. Played the technique to lift the spin. Wasn't any spin in it. Once again, advantage. Hashimoto and Sato, 11-10. Third game point. And take it. Beautiful forehand love. attack. Ten. Good surprise game tactic. to Hashimoto, Sato, one love. And the Japanese pairing to the delight the of the crowd here run back to their coach they've taken the first game 12 points to 10. So on par calls time. Good finish to that first game there from Sato and Hashimoto. Good variation of attack around the defense. I think if they stay too much in defense mode, Chen and Sun Second think they'll game. be strong Hashimoto and find the rhythm, comfortable against Level. defense, but it's the key shift into attack from the pairing on the screen. Crucial in that opening game. One love. Interesting error. That serve again looked a little bit bouncy from here, but it's been very deceptive to see. That one was backspin, clearly put into the net. Looked a little like topspin. High toss, generating a lot of speed with the ball coming back down onto one. the racket. One. Sometimes doubles pairings prefer to just throw the ball with a slow 
and a smaller toss just to keep the control with the higher toss perhaps creating more risk more elements of error So far for the Japanese player. Counter touch with a long defensive shots. This is great stuff. Oh, oh missed the attack on the parallel. Two, one. From Hashimoto. Super change through that rally from attack and defense. Everything being played. It was teed up beautifully there. One, Lovely ball there three. down the line from Sun Ying Sha. I think if you're playing against the defence, you've got to mix it up. You can't let the defensive pairing again just be comfortable with where you're placing the ball. You've got to mix it up into their backhand, into their forehands. Fast, slow spinning, mix it up, make it difficult. One, four. Very clever from the Eight, Chinese pairing. Four. Dictating the tempo and the spin and the speed. And there's the variation of push and then coming in with an acceleration one to one side, one to the other. Clever. Four point advantage for the pairing in red. And now with the serve. Good variation, Eight, coming in on the backhand five. there, Sato. No, no. Ah, nice Six, as well, over the table. Eight. Turning defence into attack. Again, Eight. it's the counter topspin that's causing the Chinese pairing the problems. Comfortable against the defense. Then the counter, fantastic from Honoko Hashimoto. Bit of a risk in there, but it needs to be done to mix it up. Pulling it back now, serving at 7 8. Ah! Oh, it's a long, bouncy one. Eight. Eight. And Chen Sing Tong not completely comfortable. Whether it kicked up a little bit. Seemed to check and turn to the right hand side. Excellent service. It all. Good comeback from the Japanese pairing. Number one seeds. No, no, no. And a mistake from the Chinese Nine. pairing, but perhaps not to be. Unexpected at such a crucial point. They were free flowing when they were in the lead. Looked very comfortable against defense. Now it comes close. Different ball game. One point advantage. Team Japan. On the receive though. Oh, it's a great attack right down the middle of the table. Perfect combinations from the players in green there from Japan. Once again, chiseling the ball on defense, heavy spin, forcing the attackers to spin slowly, then having the option to come in and counter attack. So two point advantage with the serve, two game points. Best of five, of course, the doubles. First 
to three. Oh, it's a good rally. Ten, nine. Well worked from the Chinese pairing. And then Sun once again. Beautiful forehand, good technique. Another great ten, forehand ten. from Sun Yingsha. Bit bouncy that serve. Just see it in the slow mode. A little bit bouncy. Easier to accelerate. Not the time to. The Seamaster 2017 ITTF World Tour Platinum. Lion Japan Open. Players just gone through formalities. So we have the number one seeds, Hanoka. Hashimoto and Hitomi Sato from Japan. Again, third Japanese representation in three matches first thing this morning. Perfect for the crowd here in Tokyo. Taking on qualifiers from China, Chen Xingtong and Sun Yingsha. There we are through the proceedings of this morning. Halfway through, we're running a little bit behind schedule here, but we don't mind. It's due to the quality of the table tennis, and in particular that 4-3 victory earlier on for Mio Harano. Delighted the local crowd were to see Mio Harano go through to the quarterfinals. And there you see we're now on for women's doubles semi-final, as I say, number one seeds against the qualifiers, Japan against China. The other semi-final, just so that you know, is between Chen Xu Yu and Cheng Yicheng of Chinese Taipei, the number four seeds, against the number two seeds from the Republic of Korea, Jung Ji Hee, who we saw earlier playing against Mi Hirano in the last 16 of the women's singles. She's playing with Yang Haiyun. So four different nations contending the semi-finals of the women's doubles. And there are our pairings. So in red, pairing from China. And in green and black, the pairing from Japan. Quarterfinals saw the number one seeds have a slightly easier time. Onaka Hoshimoto and Hitomi Sato defeating Chinese Taipei pairing Cheng Xiang Tzu and Lin Xia Shi 3 0. And Chen Xintong and Sun Yingxia of China, they won 3 1 against another Chinese pairing Chen Ke and Wang Manu. They were also responsible for the defeat of Feng Chenwei and Yu Ming Yu of Singapore in the last 16, 3 0. So they've come through the qualifiers there. Chen and Sun deserve to be in this semi final for sure. But there they are, the number one seeds. They've been to latter stages and winning also there in Austria 2016. Strong combination. Really interesting to see how these two fare. Next generation, younger players. There we see no world ranking and no seedings who come through the qualifiers. Young in their international career, but how many times have we seen really strong players coming through on the Chinese scene? Over the years, equally from Japan, two powerhouses of table tennis. So two right-handed combinations. Umpire Peter there from Czech Republic, and Andreas, assistant umpire from Germany. Of course, international umpires travelling around on the world circuit. This is the second platinum event here in Japan of the year. We've already been to Qatar earlier in the year in February. We're in China next week in Chengdu, Sichuan province. Spicy food there. Before heading off to Australia in July, Austria in September and Germany in November. Of course, players aiming to accumulate points 
winning prize money, of course, along the way. Hashimoto's Biggest prize Zato money we've had in the World Tour, Chen courtesy of Seamaster's partnership. Is to serve but pairings and singles players trying to accumulate as many points through the World Tour for the World Tour Grand Finals, which will take place in December. Location of that to be confirmed. Oh, super exchange Love. to open this semi-final. Going to see lots of footwork, two right-handed combinations, so really important to move with your opponent. Understanding of one another and regular playing with each other, key factors in success of a one. doubles partnership. Also one. styles of play, important too. Sometimes in doubles competitions we see different combinations of players playing with one another which can impact on world ranking points and seedings and so on. Stop. One, two. And then we also see the opposite side of that, where consistently we see the same pairing playing again and again. Stop. Certainly, Hashimoto and Sato played regularly together. They'll have a strong understanding, but what a backhand Three, flick that is. One. Straight over the table. Beautifully played. So relaxed, almost like training hall. Again, Four, wonderful one. attack from Sun Yingxia. Good impact on two points there. Almost playing as if it's a opening round rather than semi-final, very impressive. One, five. Great footwork there, good camera angle there, just to see the footwork of Hashimoto and Sato. Of course, footwork Four. crucial in defensive style players, and particularly in a doubles, when you're both playing defensively. Important though that they mix it up. Chinese players traditionally very, very strong against defense. That was right to go Four, for a forehand to serve. Six. Was drifting. And that would have been a good opportunity to mix it up. Uh -huh. Four, First error. Seven. Apology. Four, seven. 